Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome to the live show. Uh, I'm stoked today for two reasons. <laughs> One, I'm feeling better, even though I still sound like this, I'm legit feeling better. Uh, and two, we're going to talk more about the conversation we started on Tuesday on the podcast. If you've not yet listened to Tuesday's podcast, thestacyharris.com is the place to find it. Actually, after we wrap this, I will make sure that I get that uh, in the comments below. Uh, thestacyharris.com slash episode 414 should get you there, but I'm not totally positive. Uh, so, hey, as you're joining, be sure to say hello. We'll get started, like, officially, officially, and right in a couple of minutes. But this is the part of the show where I like to say hi and, like, talk to you guys. So, hello, hello. Deborah's here. Hi. I'm excited. Backstage representing. Lisa's here. Hi, Lisa. I'm excited. That's, like, two weeks in a row, Lisa. Clearly obsessed with me. I'm really excited. Um, I'm so amped to have this conversation because... I love whenever we can extend the podcast conversation to this time where we're together. Um, but also, both of these pieces of content, both of these conversations, really are leading into a larger conversation we're going to have starting tomorrow with a brand new free training that I'm launching. Uh, I'm stupid excited about it, uh, where we're going to be talking about, it's, it's essentially a training uh, to build your 30-day digital marketing strategy all by yourself. It's going to be awesome. Uh, Ariana's here. Yay. Happy anniversary, by the way. Very cute wedding photo in the photo. Photo. See, this one day I'll get this whole pointing at things on my screen down. So far, not so much. Lisa admits she is, in fact, clearly obsessed with me. Can you blame her? <laughs> Forgive my pain. I'm, I'm, like, oddly pale still from being sick. I don't know what happened. I, like, I, I went outside the whole time, like, I don't know. I live in Southern California. I should not be this pale, but in fact, I am. Uh, it's the redheaded Irish girl in me, I guess. Anywho, uh, I'm really excited. We're going to get officially started, like I said, in one minute, but this conversation really is going to extend our conversation we started on Tuesday on the podcast. I'm assuming you listen to the podcast. If not, again, I'll share it uh, later. Uh, and then really move into tomorrow's conversation around building out your digital marketing strategy. So on Tuesday, we talked content and building your content strategy. Today, we're going to talk about why building that content strategy is really what makes your decisions when it comes to your social and your email decisions. Because that's all this is. It's a series of decisions. It starts with goals and who your ideal clients are. So like, who are we who are we talking to and where are we trying to get them? And then we talk content and then we talk email and then we talk social and it really it dominoes from there. It's fantastic. It's really exciting. Uh the cool thing about the training that's coming out tomorrow is there's a worksheet and a calendar so you can work through this stuff alongside the video. Um but also it's something that you can repeat every single month. It's not something that you're going to do once and and like, "Oh, that was great." No, it's you'll be able to go through the same process every month and make that plan. And it's essentially streamlining what I do with my clients on VIP days where we build out 90 day strategies and just dropping it down to 30 days for you. So I'm super excited. Again, that releases tomorrow afternoon. The email is all scheduled and ready to go out. It's going to go out to my list uh, tomorrow afternoon, uh, Pacific time. I think it goes out at two o'clock Pacific time. Uh, so the email list will get that first and then I will, I'll hop on somewhere and tell you probably stories of Instagram, Instead of Instagram stories, I'm going to start calling them stories of Instagram um, first and then okay, here and all the places. Uh, if you happen to be watching the replay after that, I probably left a link below. I feel like future me would do that. What do you think? Yeah? Uh, Ariana says, how do I get on this list? That is a great question. Uh, if you get my Tuesday emails right now, you're already on this list because everyone on the email list is going to get this free training. Um, but the opt-in is not open to the public just yet. It is hidden. Um, so as long as you're on my list, you'll get it. There's a ton of opt-ins on my website. Um, but I will actually, you know what? Wait for me. I will open up the, the, the opt-in page. Um, I'll put a delay on the automation sequence and I'll open up the opt-in page. So you guys can get on the list today so you make sure you get it first thing tomorrow. So just let me do that after this episode because Lisa's like, where can we opt in? Yeah, this is, see, I should have been better prepared. But I was like, oh, I'll keep it all secretive and I was trying to be cool. I won't try to be cool anymore. 
<laughs> yeah, so I'll open that up. I'll send it out. It's uh, not published. So I will publish it and get it to you guys so that you guys can opt in today and get it tomorrow when it releases. I'm really excited. I think it's this is probably the most exciting training I've ever done because it's at the core for me of what makes this stuff work. And so let's dig into that. Does that sound good? Let's dig in. All right. We built out our content strategy. If you haven't listened to the Tuesday episode yet, let's just pretend you built out your content strategy. Now, how do we take that content strategy and how do we turn that into emails and social? Well, here's how. Let's say, and I'm just going to use my own content as a calendar because we both know it, right? Tuesdays, the podcast comes out. Thursdays, this show happens. So that's that's sort of structured into my content calendar already. I know those things are going to happen. We've built out what the topics are because we're speaking to the end result we're trying to get clients to. Meaning, and I think the example I used on the podcast, and we'll just continue to use it here, is the VIP day with me. So the VIP day with me is the ultimate goal. We built content around that. Again, and I mentioned this on the podcast for sure, Tuesday's episode, an example of me building content to drive to sales to that. This episode you're experiencing right now, this is content that builds sales to my VIP day. This is not a sort of, <laughs> I'm not trying to trick you into anything. We're going to tell you exactly what's happening. So those kind of things are built out. Now, the other content piece that I have on this 30-day calendar is that free training that I'm releasing tomorrow. So that is an additional piece of content that I've calendared out on my calendar, and it's all in there. So now I know where I have these sort of content structures already. I know then where emails need to go. So I need emails on Tuesdays, and I send emails on Tuesdays that speak to that Tuesday's episode and the Thursday before's live show. So on Tuesday the 11th that just passed, um, we sent out Tuesday's episode and the live show from, what was that, the 6th last Thursday. On Tuesday, I think it's the 18th is Tuesday, yeah? I think so. Um, you'll get Tuesday's episode and the link to this replay of this live show. So that's how my Tuesday emails go out. Because I have a new content piece in the form of a free training going out, I need some email strategy around that. So it's going to be an email to my list saying, hey, it's launched, but also the nurture sequence that's going to take that content and 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 guide people through it. So we've got an initial email, we've got a follow-up email, we've got a sales email. Um, that particular sequence, I think, shakes out to four or five emails over the course of 10 days. I think it's five emails over 14 days, actually. I think that one is. Um, you'll figure out your nurture sequence. Um, and so I know now what emails I need to write, right? No, because I'm also going to have some, hey, here's my goal. It's not just, I'm not only selling for the people who opted in on this, but where else can I put in a sales email? I like to regularly send sales emails. Like almost monthly, I send out a standalone sales email. Here's why. I make money. And my list cleans itself. It's a beautiful thing. <laughs> it really is because people who aren't going to buy, people who it's not the right time for or not the right fit for, they're going to opt out. And there's no ill will either way. If it's not the right fit, I don't want them taking up space on the list. And if it's not the right fit, I don't want to be taking up space in their inbox. It's as simple as that. So energetically, if it's not a good fit, clean it out. I'm all for it. I do it all the time. Get it out of there. On the flip side, for those people who it is a good fit, for it's those people who they're like, I'm so glad I received this email today. This is exactly what I've been looking for. They hit the buy button. And they go, yes, yes, I can't. This is my next step to get from problem to solution. Fantastic. And Lisa, I love this. Yes, yes. Whenever we can both make money and clean the email list, I'm in for it, right? So we've now factored in the emails I'm going to send out for the month. I'll factor in where I'm going to send that, that sales email. Um, but I've got my four emails for my sort of my regular email stuff. I've got my nurture sequence for this new training piece of content we're doing. And I've got a standalone sales email, which I can write because, again, I know who my ideal clients are and I know what my goal for the month is. Awesome. So now we've built an email strategy. <laughs> like, do you see how having those content choices made built our email strategy for us it's that simple now our social strategy that seems huge right no first of all 
I'm making an assumption, and we all know what that means, that you already know who you're talking to and where you spend time. You have to have those things figured out before this kind of thing works. And it's something I talk about a little bit in the training, but you you got to know those pieces. Assuming you already have those pieces in place, going back to our content is how we figure out what our social elements are. Now, we all have a foundational amount of social that kind of goes out and we kind of know is going to go out, podcast interviews and content from other sources that supports us and those kind of things. But the real targeted stuff, the real stuff that is going to move us closer to that goal for the month, that's going to be based on what our content is this month. Because again, that's that's where we find our theme. That's where we find the thing so that we have those consistent touch points across our different connections. So we're actually going to take our content and we're going to break it into social pieces. We're going to pull lines out of our our blog posts, our videos, our podcasts, whatever that is, and we're going to share them as text graphics on Instagram. Or we're going to take a part of what we talk about in our podcast and we're going to serve it up as um, a Facebook Live and talk about it. We're going to extend a conversation we had on the podcast on Facebook Live and take it even further. You know, like I did Tuesday and today, Again, moving you further from problem and closer to solution so that it's really clear that if you're ready, your next step is the call to action, which is join me for a VIP day. So, I mean, I'm, I'm straight up modeling this for you here. We're, we're literally pulling our content and we're turning it into our social content. This is what we're talking about on stories. This is what we're talking about on on our Facebook Lives. This is what we're talking about in our grid. These are the conversations we're going to be having consistently on whatever networks we're in. Now, if we're using things like Pinterest, then we're pulling out graphics or clips and we're adding those to our, our Pinterest scheduler. I use Tailwind for what it's worth. Um, if it's we use Twitter, it's pulling out lines so we can tweet and and share it's literally repurposing it from the content we've already created. There's no reason to reinvent the wheel here. The only time where we're creating more or we're, we're talking about additional content creation is when we're talking about extending that conversation. Again, this being an example of that. So this is both content and social because it exists on a social network, but I am creating content. But what we're doing is we're extending a conversation that happened on my website. So it's very easy for me to say, go to the podcast and listen. And then when you pair, again, this information and the information in the podcast, you get closer and closer to that next step. You get closer and closer to saying, A, I got everything I need. Thanks, Stacy. You're the best. Or this all makes total sense, but I don't want to do it by myself. Hey, Stacy, when can I book my VIP day? Which, by the way, fall spot's available now. If you do that, it really helps, by the way. <laughs> but that's, that's, it's that simple. We're, we're starting with our goal, and we're just paring it down. Because now we know what we're talking about consistently in all of the places. <coughs> Excuse me, I apologize. We know what we're talking about in all the places. So we're really able to give consistent touch points. Now I'm going to take this and after we're wrapped, I'm going to go and I'm going to build out some social stuff that's going to go out over the next few days because I'm going to pull some clips from this. I'm going to pull some clips from the podcast and we'll use that on Instagram. We'll use that on Twitter. We'll probably pull some stuff out and put it on Pinterest because I knew strategically that I wanted this piece of content and my Tuesday piece of content to both exist. My launch of my new free training to be ready so that I could just flip a switch and all of these pieces can work together. But I wanted to do it incrementally for those of you who are watching along, who are joining me kind of live on this, so that you could see these pieces roll out individually. That way, no matter which audience you exist in, which level of attention I have, whether you've been bought in for a while and you're actually taking the time to hang out with me and you know, show up for this live show and ask questions and be engaged, or you're somebody who is going to find it through the Facebook ads that start running tomorrow afternoon for the new live training, you get to see the whole picture. And then again, you arrive at a place when I say, false spots are open now to work with me 
We'll spend a day together, build your 90-day strategy, social, content, and email. We can do it virtually or in person. You can learn more at thestacyharris.com slash VIP day. And you either say, I got everything I need, and I'm awesome. And you rock, Stacey. Thank you very much. And with that, I say, very cool. I'm glad you got what you needed. Go rock it out. Tell me how it goes. I want to hear. Or, yes, Stacy, I don't want to do this alone. Hold my hand. And you book your preview call. And then we book your VIP day. Either way, this is going to work for me to leverage that because strategically I moved from goal to content to email to social. And I knew where all of these touch points would be consistent. The messaging, the conversation, the lesson, the value would be there. Make sense? Any questions? I'm going to assume that Lisa saying makes sense means it does in fact make sense. Um, but you wrote that a while ago, so maybe I, maybe I stopped making sense at some point. Let me know. Um, I, I intentionally left some time on my calendar to stick around for a couple of minutes to answer your questions today because I think that this conversation more than any other conversation we've had recently on this page lends itself to answering some questions. So if you have questions for me, hit me up in the chat right now. If you are watching the replay of this and you have questions, still go ahead and hit me up in the comments because I will, you know, not run away and disappear. I will be here and I will, I will see them and I will, I will respond to them. Uh, I want to make sure that you guys are super clear on this uh, because I think that this is fundamentally a game changer because building out this 30 day plan, although it's like, oh, I'm just going to have to do this again in the next 30 days. Building out this 30 day plan is what helps you start getting a foothold in consistency in not only consistency in production and doing the work, but seeing a return on that work not just your financial investment, but your time investment. Once you have those pieces and you start seeing that consistency, um, both going out and coming in, it will fundamentally change the way you look at your digital marketing because you'll know that without a doubt, it works because it does. You know how I know? You're still here right now watching. <laughs> do, do, do. No, um, it, it really, it, that's what it comes down to. All right. So I'm going to assume by the total lack of questions, since I asked for one, uh, that you guys have this all figured out and that there are no questions, in which case job well done. Yeah. Oh, there's no job well done. Lisa has a question. <laughs> Lisa says, how do you add in the stuff that comes through in the moment? So this is a great question, Lisa. And, and the biggest thing for me when, when I fought the idea of having a strategy was I wanted to make time for like when just like inspiration struck. And I just like, I was like, this is what I want to talk about right now. But the great thing is, is when you have this consistency, you have room to produce the stuff that just hits and makes sense. And I find that in most cases, the inspiration that just hits me is usually very in line with whatever my overall goals were, um, conversation wise. And when it's not, that's okay too. Not every single piece, especially on social, not every single piece has to be around that same exact conversation, that same exact message. But when you build out that strategy and you build out that plan and you have all of those pieces, then when, just using you as an example, you're in the gym and something occurs to you and you really want to share it, um, a great example of this for me was your story that you did earlier talking about tennis level, ten your tennis elbow and too much of a grip. You can suddenly have that conversation because you've already built the foundation of the value that you need to, to move your audience towards the goal. And that becomes almost like a bonus. That becomes almost like gravy on top. That almost takes it going a step further so that you can build out that personal connection point even further. Uh, let's see here. She also says, the thought of planning makes my inspiration dry up. Clearly I have a block, so I'm going to sit in this. I'm open to the freedom strategy will give me. 100%. Here's the deal. Everyone thinks of strategies like structures that push out anything that doesn't fit in. When really having a strategy is what makes room for the stuff that doesn't fit in. It's what makes room for the 
the stuff that just comes out and allows you to be personal. Here's a great example of this. This is very, so my strategy very much so for this month is focused around VIP days. We had the content go up on Tuesday. We've got today's content. Everything you've seen on my Instagram stories for the last week has basically been me complaining about being sick. Seriously. Because that's what was going on with me. And that, that's what I was feeling. And so that's what I was sharing. <coughs> Excuse me. That allowed me to connect personally. But what was great is because I had a strategy and a plan, A, the content that needed to go out to help get my message forward and get my goals forward still went out, still happened, still progressed. But then it was it was further supported by, like, oh, she's human and things happen and that's cool. And I got lovely messages and some people sent me really funny jokes and like it was it was great. But I was able to pair that strategy with those impromptu, completely unplanned connection points because I had the space to do that because I had a strategy in place. Also, while being sick, so it needed to go out, needed, went out, what needed to happen happened. Emails worked, content worked, all of that stuff so that I had the support of the foundation of my business was still generating revenue, was still generating leads. I got applications for agency clients. We got applications for VIP days. We got sales from clients. Like all of that still could happen because of the years of consistency in having a strategy like this one. So there is a lot of freedom in having that plan to support you through either super fun creative inspiration or being pulled out of it for whatever reason, maybe you're on vacation, maybe you're sick, maybe you just needed a day off, whatever that is. So that's wow, that's wildly important is having that strategy. All right. Um, yep, super focused on your one-on-one. That's when the inspiration becomes even more important um, because when you're focused on one-on-one, having that foundation of here's get to know me, whatever, is even more important. Because you need that connection point. Because I'm going to be working with you. Not just buying your thing, but I'm working with you. I need to like you. Enough to let you tell me the things I don't want to hear. Because I know that that happens. All right? So having that strategy so that you can let in that creativity, it's going to be, about, it's going to be powerful for you. Yay. Uh, Ariana says, would you have the same marketing and strategy calendar for someone who isn't selling a product, but just trying to drive traffic to their website? Yes. Whatever your goal is, is your goal. So, um, maybe your goal when you have, when you're driving traffic to a website, when you are talking about, I happen to know that you are in the blogging space and the influencer space. When you are talking about driving traffic to build a message and a community, then that's your goal. So this whole thing becomes monumentally more important because you need to leverage more people to get to your audience, to, to get in front of you because you need to build your audience. And so having that content back strategy is wildly important because you're in a time of audience growth, meaning you need to tell your audience even more frequently, Hey, come to the site. Hey, come to the site. Hey, come to the site. Hey, this new thing is coming to the site, but also build that connection point. Like we were talking about with Lisa and the one on one, the one on one. We've got to really build the, hey, I want to hear about what you're telling me about X, Y, Z. You know, that's, that is your product. That is your, um, your, your thing for sale. That is your goal is driving traffic to the website and getting them to read a blog post. Just instead of paying you money at this point, they're paying you time and they're paying you attention. So the goal is different. What the, what the final product look like is different, but the strategy, the structure, the process of getting there going to be exactly the same. Uh, Lisa says, cool. Lisa says she's got to run. Thanks Lisa for watching. Um, I'm actually going to run too, cause this thing has been going on longer than I usually go. So thank you guys for hanging out with me. Thank you guys for spending time with me. Again, if you have questions, go ahead and, uh, leave them in the comments below. I will be happy to answer them. I will leave a link to get signed up for the 30 day digital marketing strategy. I really need a better name for that. You guys, here's what we're going to do guys. You guys will do me a favor, right? Right? We're friends. I'm going to put this out. I'm going to give you guys the sign-up form. And you guys are going to do the work starting tomorrow. 
And by like Monday or Tuesday of next week, you're going to tell me a much better thing to name this. Because the 30-day digital marketing strategy feels very jargony to me. And I don't love it. But I'm not currently creative enough to come up with something better. And the great thing about the internet is I can change the name. (laughs) So, that's your assignment. Should you choose to accept it or not, that's your assignment. And I'll talk to you about it next week. Thank you for hanging out with me. Thanks for watching. Uh, CJ says thank you. Thank you, CJ. I am super, super amped that you spent some time with me today. I will see you guys very, very soon. Nice. Ariana, she says deal. I'm glad she bought in. Yes, very, but still helpful. <laughs> it's it's super jargony, right? I feel like it's not. I need something cuter, but not too cute. That, that This is the curse of digital marketing. All right. Have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.